Hey guys, Cajun Resell here. Back at you with another Thrift of Me video. Let's see what we can find today at the thrift stores. This is thrift store number one for this video. I do buy a decent amount of plush in this video. It's probably the most I've spent on plush in a while because at this thrift store, you can see there, they're $2 each. That's Stegosaurus. You'd think it'd be worth it, but it's only selling for like $20 or $30. And it's going to cost a lot to ship and a lot to store. So these are some of the items I do pick up right there. Um, some realistic looking animals, an Odell Beckham Jr. plush, uh, probably worth around 20 And a couple others as well. I've already sold three out of those six or seven plush that I picked up. I'll talk about those more in the summary in a second. But I just wanted to show you all some more of the stuff they had at this Goodwill. I'm going to go over, I think, to where the new stuff comes out. Usually they put out new stuff on actual racks. Here is the, that was like cookware, I think that's glassware. These are the, what are called the new racks. I debate picking that up. It's a carousel Mr. Christmas. There are some that sell for good money, but this one is only selling for like 50 or $60. So I didn't pick it up on that day um, because it cost a lot to ship. And, you know, like I said earlier, I had a lot to store. I do find some plush in here as well. Kind of forgot about these. I think I find a Squishmallow or two. That big Squishable there, I think I pick him up as well. It's like a s'more Squishable. squishable. There's also a Nala plush you can see there, Care Bears. But if this was four for two dollars, like I was used to, before they started changing all this stuff around at the Goodwills, I probably would have picked them up. Especially the Squishmallow you can see there. Those are probably I did I picked him up as well actually, um, because he was worth it at two dollars. He was worth picking up. The other ones I think well that's not a Squish Squishmallow. That's a Ty or Ty Beanie. Uh, whatever they call those things. <laughs> TY has their own version of Squishmallows they made up. That right there. Beanie Balls maybe is what they call them. Um, but I think every single one of these was $2. So I couldn't I couldn't pick some of these up at $2 each. Um, the Precious as well. If she was in new condition, maybe I would have picked her up. But um, whenever she's, you know, she's still the tags, but she's in used condition. So used condition Beanie Boos are not going to be worth it unless you're finding one like Frost or Merlin or some of those I've talked about in the past on my channel. If you want to see that, I have, I think I have a top like 10 or 25 Beanie Boos on my channel. If you want to go watch that and see what some of the good Beanie Boos are that you should be looking out for. Because not most of them are not worth that much. I usually buy them at 50 cents and then bundle them together and make money that way. But unfortunately, with the changes they've been doing where they're now $2 each, it's going to be very hard to do that. So yeah, here is a summary of what I picked up and what has sold so far. So at thrift store number one, I did find some decent items. Unfortunately, this Goodwill has their plush prices at like $2 at the minimum, $1.99. So I ha I did find like six or seven in that one. I also found a couple other items that I showed y'all in the thrift with me. Um, but the items I've sold so far is the Dorbin Deer, which is the realistic looking deer. I think it's Tiger Tail Toys or something like that was the brand. Um, it sold for $20 on Mercari. Throw it up right there. Paid two dollars for that one, so that's a pretty decent return. That's only been a month or two, which for me, selling three out of seven or six plush is pretty good. Um, you're not always going to find plush that sell right away. Usually, plush is more of a long tail item. Also sold the Bashful Monkey, the Jelly Cat, for like eight ninety nine plus four dollars shipping. So that one wasn't worth it. Usually for me, if I'm paying two bucks for a plush, I want it to sell for over fifteen dollars. Um, so for selling it for twelve ninety nine wasn't really worth it, but I already bought it at that point, so I had to sell it. And then I also sold the Wallace Berry little. <laughs> Whatever that bird thing was, um, that sold for I think twenty one ninety nine plus four dollars shipping. So that one is definitely worth it. That one also had the tags with it, which helped it sell. But yeah, the decent finds for the first thrift store. Um, the other items were also decent. I think the realistic looking cat, that'll probably sell for around twenty dollars. The little doll, whatever that was, probably for I think it was closer to thirty actually because it did work. It had the sound and everything. So not a bad way to start out the thrift with me with those items that have already sold and the ones that are still going to sell for some decent profits. We are back at the Purple Cow, where I usually like to go to this section first. This is like toys, sporting goods, and stuff like that. On this day, I find two really cool items right there. Two gloves. That is a Rawlings catcher's mitt and a Louisville slugger, just regular glove. It's an old, it looks like an older one. I'm not sure exa the exact age on it. That one, I pass on. Look at that thing. That's in terrible shape. I don't know why they ever put that out on the floor. They should just throw that away. This was filmed, I'm going to talk about this in the summary, this was filmed like a month or two ago, and that glove is still sitting there at Purple Cow. They have lots of bins of plush here, but I've gone through them before, and I just haven't really, that was a weird one to find. That one's still there too. Who's going to buy that? That is a, I think it's Fortnite. Someone made a custom plush of their kid's face on a Fortnite dinosaur. No one's going to buy that. That's Daphne from Scooby-Doo. I do pass on her. She wasn't really worth my... What I'm trying to do now is plush 
that sell for fifteen or twenty dollars. So if it's selling for ten or fifteen, I'm not gonna pick it up. That's what I'm trying to stick to at least at a thrift store. If I can get it at a, a garage sale for like twenty five cents or fifty cents, then I'd probably pick it up. But usually, I think Purple Cow's minimum price is a dollar for small plush and dollar fifty for medium, and then like two dollars for large or something like that. Looking at the golf clubs, I don't pick those up. I think I do come back and pick those shoes up. I don't pick them up uh, right here. They were twelve ninety nine. I think they sell for over fifty dollars. They're Nike Air. So usually, if I can find a Nike, I will at least look up. Nikes are easy to look up. There's a tag inside the shoe, which usually says the model number and stuff like that and the size. So they're not they're not hard to look up. You do have to look out for fakes. Don't ask me how to tell if they're fake or not. Uh, ask Derek, ATL Flippers, if you have questions. <laughs> He's usually pretty good about responding to questions about shoes, and he knows a lot about them. And in general, if you type in a number and it doesn't pull anything up on eBay, it's probably not a real shoe. Not positive on that, but that's I've learned that in the past that if nothing appears when you type in the model number, there's a good chance it might be fake. Here's a summary of what has sold so far. So the second stop was Purple Cow in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Picked up two gloves on this day. What's funny about these gloves is, <laughs> here's one of them right here. This is a, it's a Rawlings glove. Uh, it is a catcher's mitt, but it's for left-handed throwers. So I am used to throwing in the right hand, even though I do golf and bat left-handed. I usually throw right-handed. So I'm used to wearing a glove on my left hand, and it's weird to have a glove on my right hand. <laughs> this is a Rawlings glove. It's probably worth around $50 or $60. I did just get around to listing this, so it obviously has not sold yet. It doesn't sell that, it doesn't sell that fast for me, but it's Rawlings RFM23. Usually with these gloves, you can find the brands either on the inside of the glove right there or on the outside of the glove. Usually there's also, sometimes they'll show the uh, inches, like how long the glove is. <laughs> Like for usually it's like 12, 12 and a half inches, something like that for a glove. Catcher's mitts are different, they're sized differently. But I'm not sure what the size was on this one, but yeah, decent find for one glove. <laughs> and the other glove was a Louisville Slugger. That one's probably only worth like 25 to 30. The other glove that I showed was really in bad condition. I probably found this glove like a month or two ago. That one, black one that y'all saw at the end that was in terrible condition is still sitting there at that purple cow. So if you want it, go grab it. <laughs> it's not worth anything, but you can go grab it if you want to. But yeah. Decent find for one thrift store. Anytime I see baseball gloves, and usually they're you know less than five dollars, I will definitely pick them up. Especially if it's a catcher's mitt or first baseman's glove, those are usually worth a little bit more because they're uh, better. I, guess, I don't know if they're better made, but they're harder to find, and there's less of them obviously because you have more position players. You just have the catcher and the first baseman, and then you have all the other guys that use. I don't know if they use the same glove or not, but they use closer to the same gloves. But yeah, that's it for stop number two. I love finding these at thrift stores. No one ever seems to pet pick them up. Everybody seems to pass by them all the time. And they usually sell for decent money. That was a blue bunny plush from MTY International, I think, or something like that. The Dandy ones, I think, also sell decently well. They also had some decent plush on this day. I don't pick any of these up. Um, I don't know why I didn't look. Some of the, I, that, I talked about that at, at one point. They cover the tag, so it's hard to see. I don't want to take off the price tags. They use that to scan. That dog might have been worth it, but I've not hadn't had too much luck with ones that are like that, which are stuffed with some weird like sawdust sometimes. And I just pulled one from my inventory that was only listed for like ten bucks and never sold. So it was Fun Farm, I think, was the brand. But yeah, this is Saint Vincent de Paul, I believe, in Gonzales, Louisiana. <laughs> so if y'all have ever gone to that one, it's a decent store. I've never found too much good stuff there. Uh, they have recently started putting out carts like this, which is new stuff for that day. I do like when thrift stores do that because it means you know you know that people haven't gone through that. That thing might have been worth it, Tupperware, that little strainer. I have a couple of those that I need to get listed. I found some at the bins a long time ago and just never got around to listing them. And I think I found one uh, maybe in a storage unit or something. But yeah, I'm trying to pick up some interesting stuff, show you all some of the stuff that's at this thrift store. This is the bin of plush that they had. Uh, Shake It Up, that was a show on Disney Channel. I'm not sure why they made Build-A-Bears out of it, <laughs> uh, but maybe it had the music that went with it. That little uh, chick might have been worth it too if, you know, it was manufactured by Walmart, I think, which Walmart does have some plush that sell, but in general, Walmart's cheaper stuff and probably not worth it. That is Troll. Shout out Jesse Shops. <laughs> yeah, I didn't buy it, but still, shout out Jesse Shops. Uh, the little bunny, I think that was from Zootopia, maybe. I don't know. I've never, I've never actually watched Utopia. Never had much luck selling the plush that came with it. Going over here, they have the dolls and other toys. It's on the opposite side now. That is 
I can't remember, Hero Girls, or it's not, it's not Hero Girls, it's something. I've had one, build a bear from there, I've had it forever, and it's still never sold, so I'm not picking that one up, obviously. Um, I could put them together, but I don't think it's going to help it sell. And there's some of the sporting goods, like rackets and stuff like that. I have found gloves here in the past, but I haven't found them here in a while. Um, let me know if y'all have ever gone to this thrift store. It used to be in a different location, and they moved it because they demolished the old one. <laughs> I'm glad they kept it, though, because whenever I go to Gonzalez, I always have a you know, pattern of going to the antique booth first to restock it and see what's sold and then go to Goodwill and Gonzalez and San Vincent de Paul and Gonzalez. And I think there's also a class act thrift store or something like that. It's across from the high school. Anyways, I don't care about that. Here's the summary. So the next door, St. Vincent de Paul, I find this big blue bunny plush. In general, if I found these in the past, they've actually sold pretty well for close to a hundred dollars. I need to make sure they're the right brand. I don't even remember what the brand on this one was. Let's see. It doesn't have a brand sticker. It's MTY International Company, but you can kind of tell the color based on what they are. Sometimes they have pastel colors to them. I've sold them in the past. I'll throw up one or two screenshots of ones that I see that have sold, but um, this one's probably worth around $70 to $80 um, for shipping. It won't be too hard to ship this. You know, It can be compacted somewhat at least and probably fit in um, an envelope or a box. Box, you know, probably 14 by 14 box or something like that. So it wouldn't cost too much to ship. And it's got a little extra bunny there on him. <laughs> so it's like a mommy or daddy bunny with the little baby bunny as well. So not a bad find there. That's the only item I found that day. I did put back some plush they all saw. Maybe I should have picked some of those up. Let me know if I should have. <laughs> Let me know which ones you would have picked up. Um, I think it was like three or four bucks. The only problem with it was whenever they, they put their new price tags that they have, they put them on the tag. So it's really hard to see this tag whenever it's covered. Um, I don't know where else they should put them. I'm glad they don't write on the tags. Like one thrift store that I go to, they write every single price on the tags. That's kind of annoying, but yeah, this one's same as the DePaul and not a bad find there. Speaking of the Goodwill and Gonzalez, here is the Goodwill and Gonzalez. They had some golf clubs on this day. None of these I recognize. That was a huge putter. Like the face of that putter was huge, but it wasn't really worth anything. There's all the plush there is ones I pick up. The Dole Whip, uh, Disney one, the Chip and Dale, I guess that's Dale technically, Chip has a black nose. That glass piece, I don't know, I should probably should have picked it up. The Kmart plush is the best one out of all of them. I'll talk about that in the summary. If you've seen my What Sold videos, you know why. <laughs> he sells pretty fast after I actually get him. But uh, that's all the plush I got on that day. I do, I think I'm going to go over here and show you all the plush bin. This is before they changed their pricing. Um, apparently we're going to look at the DVDs and CDs first. <laughs> I don't ever really look at those. Sometimes I'll run my hand along them and feel if there's any new ones. I will always scan new ones because new obviously has a premium over used, even though there are some used stuff that can be worth some good money. I've sold some DVDs and CDs in the past for some good money um, that were used, but it takes a lot of time to look them up, and usually I don't feel like sitting there and waiting. I guess I don't go to the plush bin, actually. I lied. I don't go to the plush bin. This is the electronics. I rarely ever find anything electronic-related here. They redid their aisles to where you can actually go between them now, which I think is a little bit better. There's the Dale Earnhardt cooler ice chest the jeff gordon one as well um i think they're asking like two or three bucks each for those um i do pick up one of the two <laughs> someone else came behind me and picked the, the other one up right after i picked it up I'll t i think i talked about that a little bit in the summary uh how that happened and she might not have been too happy with me for taking the deal on heart one um that's the one i wind up taking i do debate the army i do go back and get the earn heart no i'm just i put it back for now usually i'll do the filming and then go back and look at the items, which isn't always the best idea because someone could take the item before I actually, uh, you know, get back in time to get it. This is the new show, new carts that are always out. Some days they'll have four or five out. Some days they'll have one. It just depends on, I guess, the employee and what they're doing, whether they're doing clothes or hard goods. I'd rather than do hard goods. Here's a summary. One of my more recent really nice plush sales came from this thrift store. This is Goodwill and Baton Rouge, Louisiana, or Gonzalez, I guess, technically speaking. Um, unfortunately, they have now changed their pricing on plush to be not good <laughs> they're basically doing bags of plush like four or five plush for 4.99 now you'll see it in an upcoming video where i actually show it it's just annoying now but i was these plush i got four for two dollars this was one of them hadn't sold yet um it's like it had disney on it and it was a dole whip it does it is scented like dole whip so yeah that's why i picked it up it has a little scent pack here in the you can kind of hear it in there little beads but it had disney on it so i was like for 50 cents i'm gonna pick this up no matter what it's disney I have never seen it before, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's probably worth around fifteen to twenty dollars. I also picked up. I told y'all. I think I, did I tell y'all what it sold? I don't remember. I sold the Kmart 
Saints plush. If you find Kmar and it's a sports team, you should definitely pick it up. Kmar branded sports team, you should definitely pick it up. I almost put it back. I really almost put it back, and then I picked it up and I looked up the I looked up the comps and I was like, wow. Um, there was like a dolphin sold for like 150, I think, and maybe one or two more. I'll throw up first screenshot. I threw up first was mine that sold for a hundred dollars. Throw it. I threw up a couple more just so y'all could see the other ones that have also sold. The other item I picked up at that thrift store, along with all those other plush y'all saw in the basket, is this. This is a Dale Earnhardt ice chest. It's a cooler. Um, paid 2.99 for it. Obviously, it's not listed yet if the tag's still on it. Um, but it's funny. Funny story. I. Which I did the filming part. I showed this one and I showed the other one. Uh, I think the other one was Gordon, maybe. And I went back and I filmed myself. I came back and I got it. And as I was getting it, the lady's like, oh, man, I really wanted that one. I wanted to get that one. I was, and she was saying, like, oh, I was here first. I was like, I didn't say anything. I was like, I I'm going to buy it. She's like, my husband's going to want that. I'm like, I already picked it up. <laughs> so she's like, and she kept following me around for a little bit, trying to see if I was going to put it back down. So at that point, I was like, I'm committed to buying this whether I really want it or not. <laughs> so I did pay $2.99 for it. It's probably sells for 15 to 20 Not the return I want usually. You can say that's a good return, but 15 to 20 by that I mean free shipping. Um, so $15 plus plus 5 or just say $20 free shipping. However you want to say it, it's the same thing basically. Um, but yeah, Dale Earnhardt, it is worth money. I might just put this at the antique booth that I share with Dawn and see if anybody wants it. People have been buying my NASCAR stuff there surprisingly. Not sure why, but people have been buying the NASCAR stuff there. I made almost forty dollars last month, basically all on NASCAR. So yeah, not bad. And that's it for this thrift store. This is probably the best find for this actual video. I was scanning the hats at one thrift store, and look what I found: Logo Athletic. Anytime you can find Logo Athletic, you're gonna be in good graces with profit. <laughs> this was Florida State Seminoles. It's either like Shockwave or Shark Tooth. I think I call it Shark Tooth in the actual summary, but it's one of those two patterns. Um, I look at more of the hats. I rarely ever find hats here. It's the first time I've ever found a good hat at this thrift, thrift store. This is America's Thrift Store uh, near Cortana Mall, if you are local. Um, they generally open way earlier than, I think they open at maybe 8 or 9. I'm not sure the exact day or time, day, the exact time they open. But I think I also do pick up these shoe, one pair of shoes at this thrift store as well. I can't remember if it's those Nike or the other Nike. Um, their shoes are not actually too overpriced, which is surprising for thrift stores. Usually thrift stores like this have them way overpriced. Um, and that th those are, I don't think those were nike those were some other brand but i'm just showing y'all some of the shoes i do pick up one pair but that hat is the major bolo at this thrift store so i just happened to be in that area one day when i found this one really cool item i was at america's thrift store going out garage sailing and i just happened to stop by opened at 9 a.m i think and look what i found this florida state i believe it's called shark tooth pattern hat this thing has recently sold for up to $250. Now, mine is not in the greatest condition. You can I don't know if you can really tell it or not. It's not terrible condition, but it's, you know, it's not great. The brand, Logo Athletic. If you ever see Logo Athletic, you should probably be picking up the hat. Um, the in hat tag is that, Logo Athletic. The back's pretty nice overall. I mean, it's an old hat, obviously. It's from the 90s, I would guess. I'm not positive, though. Don't quote me on that. But, um... Yeah, really nice hat there. Probably going to get close to $200. I have it listed for $250 right now because there weren't any others listed. Um, but it'll probably sell for around $200 if I had to guess. Not a bad find for early in the day. Even after, that was my best find of the day probably, including garage sales. This hat. This is the last stop of the day. I think we are back at the Goodwill and Gonzalez. I think that's what this one is. Or not Goodwill and Gonzalez. Goodwill and College Drive, I believe, is what this one is. <laughs> I do pick up that glove. It has already sold. <laughs> I was trying to look up the comps. I was looking at my list, and I was like, wait, that already sold, actually. <laughs> but yeah, that glove has already sold. I think it's the only thing I actually pick up on this day. I still have that plush there in my store. I've had it listed forever, so I'm not going to pick it up again because it's probably not going to sell. Obviously, I didn't sold in that time frame of, like, probably a year I've had it. It ain't going to sell again that fast, so I do pass on that plush. Um, I don't pick up anything else at this thrift store. I'm just going to show you all what I was looking at. There's Rudolph. I've never had too much luck selling Rudolph either, um, but this is like their toy section at this Goodwill. Um, I found the glove in that compartment, I think, actually, where the badminton rackets were. I do look at that micro brick. I looked it up, and it just wasn't worth picking up. I thought it was at first because, you know, it's it looks like Lego. Obviously, it's supposed to be Lego, but it's not. Here's the summary. 
So a nice find at the last thrift store. This was Goodwill in, on College Drive, I think, again. This glove, A800 Wilson, sold for $59.99 plus $5 shipping. Now, the usually the ones with A on it are really good. If you can find this one right here, um, the A2000, you'll be making a bunch of money, especially if it's in good condition. Unfortunately, this glove right here came out of a storage unit. It's in pretty bad condition, but um, someone can recondition it and make it good. It's just not going to be me. But that one glove right there paid for the trip, obviously. I think I paid three or four bucks for it. So yeah, if you can find Wilson gloves and they have the A in front of them, whether it be 800, 2000, or any other one, I think at least, um, most of those will sell for good money. Like I said earlier in this clip, or in this video, you can find gloves, especially catcher's mitts, you'll probably be making some good money on them. So don't pass those up if you see them in a yard sale. Don't just be like, oh, I don't know baseball. I don't know anything about baseball. I don't know anything about sports. You can still make some good money, if even if you don't know anything about sports, if you can pick it up. I mean, it's literally easy to look up. You just look up Wilson A2000 or A800, whatever it is, and you can see the comps. If you see a comp over 40 bucks, you're probably in good shape. Now, this one doesn't really have it's hard to see the model number on it on the A2000 glove, but um, usually you can find them in some way, shape, or form. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for coming along for the fun adventure uh, six or seven thrift stores. Uh, you can still find money in thrift stores not as easily as garage sales because they usually charge more and there's more of an audience at the thrift stores unless you're there right when they put stuff out. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like. Comment with your favorite sale that I had. Mine's probably going to be that Kmar Saints plush just because it's a plush selling for 100 bucks. Doesn't happen all that often. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching.